Working remotely for the last 10 years in the technology sector means that I've spent a lot of time on computers. And one of the biggest frustrations over that time, especially when trying to become a little bit more effective at using those computers and a little bit less hard, I guess, on my body, has been the fact that Mac OS and Windows are not super friendly out of the box to navigating more so with the keyboard. Now, if you have any experience with Linux at all, you might have heard of this concept of a tiling window manager. And that's what we're going to talk about today. You buy a tiling window manager, but not for Linux, but for macOS. Hello folks, my name is Justin with Effective Remote Work, and I'm gonna take a first look at you buy for macOS. All right, so now you can see my screen and it looks like a pretty typical macOS environment. I have this window hitting out in the middle of the screen here. And I mean, I can do whatever I want to. I can move it around. But if I move, try to move it around over here and I let go of the mouse, it's gonna pop back. And that's what Yabai is doing. It's taking over management of the positioning of these windows on the screen. So for example, if I open up a terminal window, then it automatically creates these into columns, or I can press a little short key here, or hot key, and change the positioning of these windows. I can open up another window, say system preferences, but wait, this one isn't bound by that, because you can also set windows to be floating in case you wanna have them pop up just over the top of other ones. Yabai is extremely helpful because it allows me to stop the repetitive motions of moving from the keyboard to the mouse and using the mouse more, which tends to aggravate some kind of RSI that I have in my arm and in my shoulder. So instead of having to move over here and click on this window to activate it, all I have to do is activate a keyboard shortcut to switch focus. Now you can see what happened there, I'll do it again there's this little border around there. It's just really subtle. And that's uh, an add-on to you buy called Limelight. And that just shows you the active focused window. But I don't have to lift my fingers up from the keyboard. I just press a shortcut. And then another, you know, it moves the focus over to the other one. So I can open up my config files over here and work on them. I can close my terminal window. Forgot I changed the shortcut on that one from what I'm used to and then it automatically resizes those windows. Yabai, I think, is something that is really powerful, though I will say that it is a fairly technical thing to implement. Uh, in my research on Yabai, I found this video from Jesse Skelton over on his YouTube channel. I definitely recommend checking it out if you're interested on finding a starting point for going with Yabai. The main reason I'm with Yabai, again, is to minimize that movement between mouse and keyboard and some other cool things you can do with it combined with some other tools is you can develop your own key shortcuts to move things around or you can open certain applications or various different items that you can do with it. You can customize this extensively. If I open up my terminal window here, I'll show you an example of what the config looks like. So if I go vim, and then it is Yabai, Yabai RC. This is uh, something that I kind of ripped from Jesse's uh, config here, but it's, I just kind of use it as a starting point for myself. You know, I can label spaces, I can set preferences for the windows that I want to keep uh, on a, as floating as I showed you with the system preferences window, the carabiner, finder, Alfred preferences, disk utility, so on and so forth, and various ways to uh, configure it. You can configure opacity. You can um, configure the split ratios. There's lots of stuff. The, the main one you're probably gonna be concerned with is this spacing. So if you see here, I've got this gap in between the applications. I think it looks pretty good. Um, so I have this padding between the applications and the borders of the window set there just to kind of give it a nice backdrop and feel. That's a lot of the configuration. And then if you look at something like um, SKHD, which is a keyboard shortcut creator, um, you have lots of different ways to configure keyboard shortcuts. So there's the Mac key, which is just a couple key commands, and then a hyper key, which is a shift command alt and control on the Mac. And you can bind basically anything you want to 
to that. Again, if you're interested in diving deeper, I recommend checking out Jesse's video. Now I was using Linux as my primary daily driver OS for work for quite a while, about eight months. And I mean, I still love it. I think it's fantastic. But the thing that kind of got me toying with the idea of switching back to Mac OS was you buy. I was using Pop OS and they have a built in window manager, similar to how this works here in you buy. And I loved using it. It was something that was amazing. But there were a number of other compromises that I had to make too to work on Linux and then also have a Mac laptop and a mostly Apple driven ecosystem in my house for technology. And so I decided, you know, if you buy is good enough, then I'm going to switch back. And so far, I'm fairly satisfied with using it. It is a little buggy at times, and one of the considerations to make with it too is that to get deeper integration into your system and using it, you do have to disable system integration protection. I think I got the name of that right. Um, on your Mac, but you can install it without it. Now, if you're not super technical or you don't like digging into the command line or working in text file configuration files like this, you may find this challenging to use. It is not a super user-friendly system, but it is designed to mimic other tiling window managers in the Linux ecosystem, which are very similar. I3 is primarily a text file configuration driven window manager. You don't have this fancy graphical UI to manage all the details and create your keyboard shortcuts in there. You use a text file, which is extremely efficient if you're used to developing in that world and diving into that world as, you know, if you're a software developer of some sort, but it might not be as effective for you if that's not your world and not your everyday. So what I recommend you buy I would have to say probably yes at this point. I'm not super versed into it, but it seems to be very stable. It seems to work quite well. There's an active developer on the project. It's fully open source, built off another window manager that it was forked from, ChunkWM. And I, I just think it's a good starting point for the window manager experience to start developing on macOS. Now, there is an alternative to this if you're interested in trying it out. That's Amethyst. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. I've tried that before and it seems to work adequately well too. But what do you think? Is a tiling window manager something you're interested in using on macOS? Or is this maybe a little too intimidating to get into since it requires so much configuration and installation in the command line? I'd love to hear from you. If this is something that you're thinking about, definitely leave a note in the comments below. Also be sure to join our Discord community. There's a link to that in the description as well. Again, my name is Justin with Effective Remote Work. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.